Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and this is a uh, video about a specific um, company, Netgear, for um, security flaws in their routers. But I would put this video as very um, overall, any router of any manufacturer, you should always check out the latest firmware updates. So what happens? If you are using one of those Netgear routers that you see here, the XR1000, 1000V2, XR500, WAX206, 220, and 214 version 2, you need to have the patched firmware updates that has been released. Over the weekend, it has been found that two very important vulnerabilities are in these routers and you can actually have your routers taken over and basically they can do what they want, snoop on you and you won't even know it. Uh, you know, take your router and have it um, work as a um, network device, an internet device for distributed denial of service attacks and so on. So it's important to uh, check it out and make sure that you update. I will share the link to the Netgear page where you can find uh, support. And you know what? If you're using a router, whatever model, um, you should, especially if you think it's never been updated, you should go to the manufacturer page, find your model number, and find your router and your firmware version to see and update to make sure that you are safe. These devices are also, like any device, uh, very easy to hack if they are not up to date. That's why I always say if you have an old router that's more than five years old, you should change it because that device is vulnerable and probably uh, there's some danger using it on the internet. So check out your uh, router's uh, firmware version. I think it's a worth uh, thing to do. Make sure that they're up to date and to uh, stay safe, that is very important. So for the Netgear, which is um, apparently very critical uh, vulnerabilities, the link to the Netgear page for support is going to be in the description below. And especially if you have the models that uh, I'm talking about here, very important to update. And you know what? Even if you don't have one of those models, why not go to the Netgear page if you have a Netgear router and see if you have anything that has to be updated to stay safe. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.